Monsieur l'ambassadeur, ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, this, this award is a great honor for me, not only because Benjamin Franklin was a great inventor and a great engineer, which always ring a bell for us aerospace people, neither because I wouldn't have dared receiving it, and, also, and nor because he was born in Boston as my wife. Um, he also was a man of wisdom. Among his famous quotes, I like this one, saying that, in this world, nothing can be said to be certain except death and taxes, which reminds us that we evolve in a changing world, a world where we all need to know on which stable grounds we can build. He also is one of the founding fathers of the United States, at the same time when the relationship between this young nation and our old one has taken shape. Since then, we have developed a long and fruitful common history. Of course, there have been hiccups over the centuries, and sometimes loud voices and slapping doors. Uh, but that's what friendship is about, right? How good would be a friend who says to you only what you want to hear? When you are taking an initiative that your friend is believing going, is going to hurt you, what, you are, what are you really expecting from him? Stay silent, wait and see, or scream out even against its own interest and good looking? A true friend has to take personal risks for you as we all want to celebrate today, especially today, 69th anniversary of this other 6th of June, where 6,600 children of the United States lost their lives over the strands of Normandy for those only reasons, freedom and friendship. Let's give them a minute of remembrance. Since those glorious days, no one could say that our world is any safer. But we still share the same values, along with the belief that it makes sense to continue day after day, developing them and strengthening them together. Friendship between our two nations is one of those stable grounds over which we can build. This is what I want to witness today. For the last 30 years, Zodiac Aerospace history has been a transatlantic one. Mr. Gary Cole told you that our company has been born at the end of the 19th century, manufacturing hair balloons. We like to introduce ourselves as the oldest aerospace corporation in the world, even before the Wright brothers' flyer took off. But after World War II, our company was totally destroyed. No more business, no customers, no contracts, factories, employees, and of course money, nothing. Then the owners decided to get back in the business, entrepreneurs, with a bizarre inflatable rubber boat that had been invented in 1934 without being able to catch any interest from, from any room. A small boat that wouldn't take a lot of money to invest and, uh, and to start a business with, right? Fortunately, the boat happened to be excellent and became famous thanks to, among others, people like Commander Jacques-Yves Cousteau, and this was the start of our US expansion. From this rebirth, Zodiac has returned to aerospace, our heart and soul, building world leadership positions on specialty niche markets like interiors of airplanes, cabins, airborne systems, or safety equipment. Every time using the same recipe, develop in the US what we have in France, and develop in France what we have in the US, that's simple. Since in our, in our aerospace business, what's good enough for France and US together will be good enough for the whole planet. The consequence of that strategy that we still apply 
has been relatively a, a relatively quick development in America. And of course, the size of, of our American workforce has grown up to almost half of our global headcount. Our main locations here are in California for the largest, Washington State, Texas, Georgia, Pennsylvania, New Jersey. Also, this strategy happened to deeply influence the evolution of our culture and our people on each side of the ocean. You can call it cross-fertilization if, like, if you like the HR jargon. In the reality, our people do profoundly share the same values, which are really the best of the two worlds. We like to insist over four of them. Humility, which is the opposite of arrogance, and is known to develop well on this side of the ocean. Entrepreneurship spirit, which it has been told many times before, is a French word at the origin. Realism, and we don't forget that. Realism, focus on facts more than on concepts, our American folks used to encourage us in that direction. They need to. And uh, respect, which is universal. Our men and women come to us with their own backgrounds and allow them into more creativity, different ways of solving issues, better reactivity, and success at the end. This is known, this is how from being a French citizen in France we became progressively, and we strongly feel so, a US citizen in the United States, and only from there we could possibly become a German citizen in Germany, and a Welsh citizen in Wales, and so on, and so on. Since this is a power of growing together, you learn to listen, discover, and appreciate the help, and help each other, and this virtuous cycle just has no limit. One day, I had a chat with Jacques Maillet, the founder of our subsidiary Intertechnique, and a compagnon de la Libération. You could name him a hero of the World War II, a, a true hero. We were talking about the European institution, and he was expressing some doubts that things would go easily inside it. This was like 15 years ago, but I perfectly remember his words. It's going to be difficult, he said, to come along into a super nation since to build a real nation means, needs that cement of having been glorious together. I wouldn't say that I will jump to his conclusions on the specific matter of building Europa, but I retain the idea that nothing would cement our group together more than being glorious together. And this is what we are trying to do every day. Same wise, our two nations have undoubtedly been more than several times glorious together. Looking back to all these pages of history, you can imagine how proud I am tonight. But as Isaac Newton used to say, picturing himself as a dwarf, as compared to his predecessors, if I have seen further, it's by standing on the shoulders of giants. So thanks, Mr. Monsieur l'Ambassadeur, ladies and gentlemen, merci, mesdames et messieurs, to be standing there for these little giants tonight. All those who made the French-American friendship become first a reality, and from there, an obvious fact of life, permitting every day my group, Zodiac Aerospace, and modestly myself, to be feeling a little bit taller. Merci mille fois pour cela.